Hello and welcome back to another episode of Felpo Sunday here on the World War II History and Reenacting YouTube channel. Let's see if there's any Felpos. You ready? Three, two, one. Wir haben Feldpost. Woohoo! Yeah. Three letters. Why is it always three? I don't know. Now, let's just start. Let's just start today. Let's just let's just get it going. Right? Let's just dive into it. And I have to apologize. For you regular viewers, I'm sorry. New viewers, this is something you have to put up with, I guess. Nice. That's it. That's it. We have a beautiful, original German photograph from the Second World War showing a German Feldküche or field kitchen and a field cook. From what I can tell, this field kitchen is a kleiner, or small Feldküche. The photo unfortunately does not show the entire kitchen, but based on some small but key details, such as the type of smokestack and the plain, non-beaded storage compartment lids, I'm confident enough to say that this is an early HF12 model field kitchen. Note the spoon sitting on the lid of compartment number 5 and 6. Anybody want to taste the goulash? The field cook is stirring the contents of the main cooking kettle with the iconic standard issue field kitchen stirring paddle, which is a beautiful, over-engineered piece of equipment in my honest opinion. If you want to know more about the iconic field kitchen stirring paddle, I would recommend watching episode 11 of Feldpost Sunday, which you can find in the playlist listed in the description below. In this episode, we take a close look at the stirring paddle in great detail, alongside various other standard-issued field kitchen equipment. The HF-12 field kitchen was designed to feed from 60 to 125 men. The coffee kettle, which we can see here with the open lid in the background, could brew 60 liters of coffee or tea, and the main cooking kettle could hold 125 liters. I wonder what's on the menu today, because the kettle is sure filled to the rim with some sort of soup or stew. The field cook is as always dressed out of regulation, but I guess you wouldn't want to mess with the field cook, so he could probably get away with pretty much anything, I guess. He is wearing what appears to be an early to pre-war standard issue white shirt and wool uniform trousers with private purchase suspenders. I would also like to note the sharp haircut. It looks like the photo was taken sometime during late spring or in the summer on a nice sunny day. On the back it says the Goulash Kanone, or the Goulash Cannon, which was one of the many nicknames given to the field kitchen by the soldiers. I would assume that this is a pre to early war photo based on the various details in the photograph. Not much else to say other than that this is a very nice original photo with a rather rare and interesting field kitchen motif. Nice. We're off to a nice start. Let's see what we have here. Appears to be more photographs. And it is. Not a field kitchen exactly, but we have some cooking in the field. Here we have a nice photo showing improvised cooking in the field somewhere in the summer of 1941. In the photo we have three German, somewhat senior soldiers cooking up a meal with some unidentified type of poultry, probably chicken, on a makeshift stove out on a field. On the back of the photo it says 9th of July 1941, followed by something I'm unable to make out. Two of them are wearing the typical pre-early war standard issue shirts, while the soldier on the right is wearing a tank top most likely a standard issue sport shirt. They all appear to have private purchase suspenders. Note the use of pocket watches. These are the chains. I do believe this is a dog tag, even if it's oddly placed. Based on the way the right hand soldier's trousers crease, 
I would say that he is wearing green HPT or Drillich, aka work uniform trousers, while the other two are wearing regular wool uniform trousers. No to pre to early war tall shafted jackboots, and the lack thereof on the soldier to the left, who is sporting a pair of moccasins or slippers. A very cool and interesting photo that gives us an insight into the daily life of the German soldier. Cooking in the field. Really nice photograph as well. Let's look at this one. The last one. We have another photograph. Oh yeah, that's so cool. This is from Norway, I think. Here is another wonderful photo. This photograph allegedly shows a provision storage building or kitchen facility at the island of Munkholmen, outside of Trondheim in Norway. On this small island, the Germans built an air defense battery, Flakbatterie Munkholmen, with four Flak 88s. This battery was manned by Marine Flakabteilung 702, and the soldiers on the photo are allegedly from this unit. The back of the photo has some handwriting, which I have been unable to decipher yet, but it definitely has something to do with provisions, foodstuffs and storage. The two soldiers are wearing the Kriegsmarine Drillich Anzug, or Navy HPT work uniform, which is very distinguishable from the other branches of service. The guy on the right is apparently keeping or checking a list of some sort, and my guess is that they are checking the provision stock or have just received more goods to the storehouse. Either way, there are many nice details to take note of. We can see a batch of fresh eggs on what appears to be cardboard trays, not unlike what you can find today. There is sausage, ribs, what appears to be cured ham, various bags and cans with various foodstuffs, and there is probably butter in this crate. That would be my guess. There are many more details to explore in this photograph. That's super cool. Yes, I love that. So I really hope that you enjoyed this episode of Felpo Sunday. And if you did, please comment, rate and subscribe if you wish. It really helps out the channel. So if you do, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yeah, if you want to watch more Felpo Sunday videos, please check out the playlist down in the video description below. You will find many, many videos. Thank you so much for watching. And until next Sunday, Auf Wiedersehen. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Such nice photographs.